hello out there welcome to this tutorial again on variation this is the fourth video on variation and uh, the previous ones were on direct variation inverse variation and joint variation do check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the links to the other videos on variation so in this video we'll be looking at partial variation the relation c equal to a plus b n represent a case involving partial variation where c and n are unknowns while a and b are the constants of variation the cost of posting letter is based on a fixed amount of money plus charges on the number of parcels sent this is an example of partial variation we shall represent the costs by c which is this c the fixed amount by a which is this a the number of parcels by n this is the n and the amount per parcel by b as in the relation above so this is the unit cost of sending a parcel in any case it could be uh, a call the cost of making a call which we represent c and uh, the based on the fixed cost and a variable cost which is b and the number of seconds will be represented by n it could be cost of sewing clothes where c is the cost a is the fixed amount of money while b is the fixed cost probably per hour while n is the number of hours spent in sewing the clothes in any case this is the fixed cost while b is the unit cost and n represents either the number of hours the number of seconds the number of parcels and so on so we take our first problem on partial variation problem one x is partly constant and partly varies as y so x is equal to 15 while y is equal to 3 and b is equal to 23 when y is equal to 5 what is the value of x when y is equal to 10 um, in this problem this is partial variation x is partly constant that is a and partly varies as y that will now be plus b y so we interpret it as x is equal to a plus b y where this is the partly constant of the variation and the partly varies with y so in this we substitute x is equal to 15 when y is 3 to get the first equation so we now have uh, 15 is equal to a plus 3b call this one equation 1 and x is 23 when y is 5 so we have 23 equal to a plus 5b giving us equation 2 two equations and we are going to solve them simultaneously so what we do here now is equation 2 minus equation 1 so that we now have 23 minus 15 which gives 8 a minus a gives 0 5b minus 3b gives a 2b and uh, from here b is equal to 4 if we divide both sides by 2 then we go ahead to find the value of a from equation 1 we can see 15 is equal to a plus 12 a plus 12 if b is 4 3 times 4 gives 12 so that a is equal to 3 a is 15 minus 12 which gives 3 we now create our formula by substituting a and b in this relation so we now have x is equal to 3 plus 4y since b is 3 and a is since a is 3 and b is 4 so we have the relation there 
Then what is the value of x when y is 10? So when y is 10, so x will be 3 plus 4 times 10. And uh, 4 times 10 is 40 plus 3 gives uh, 43. x is equal to 43. So that is the end of solution to problem 1. So we go to problem 2. For problem 2, m is partly constant and partly varies as square of n. When n is 2, m is 16. And when n is 5, m is 58. A. What is the relationship between m and n? B. Find the value of m when n is 3. So this is still partial variation. M is partly constant. That is the constant of the variation there. And partly varies as square of n. So that's going to be plus bn squared. Plus bn squared. Partly varies as square of n. So n squared multiplied by the second constant of the variation there. Then when n is 2, m is 16. So that's going to give us 16 is equal to a plus bn squared. That's since n is 2, 2 squared is 4. So we have it as 4b. We call that one equation 1. And uh, when n is 5, m is 58. So that's going to give us 58 is equal to a since n is 5 5 squared is 25 so we have it as 25b call that one equation 2 now we subtract it's going to be 58 minus 16 which gives 42 a minus a gives 0 25b minus 4b gives a 21b Dividing both sides by 21, b is equal to 2. 42 divided by 21 gives 2. So we go ahead to equation 1 to get the value of a. That will be 16 equal to a plus 8. Since 2 times 4 gives 8. So from here, a is equal to 8. 16 minus 8 gives uh, 8. So we go ahead to solve problem A, which is establishing relationship between M and N by substituting A equal to 8 and B is equal to 2 in this relation. So the relationship between M and N will be M equal to 8 plus 2N squared. Then B find the value of m when n is 3 so when n is 3 m will be equal to 8 plus 2 times 9 since 3 squared is 9 so 9 times 2 is 18 18 plus 8 gives 26 so that is the end of solution to problem 2 so we go to problem 3 for problem 3, m is partly constant with p and partly varies as square of q. When p is 2 and q is 3, m is equal to 24. And when p is 3 and q is 2, m equal to 17. Find m when p is equal to 4 and q is equal to 5. Um, M is partly constant with P. Okay. And partly varies as square of Q. Okay. M is partly constant with P. Where A is the constant of variation there. And partly varies with square of Q. So, plus BQ squared. So, that is the interpretation there. M is partly constant with P. M is partly constant with P, so this is the constant there, and partly varies as square of Q. Partly varies as square of Q. 
that is it so when p is 2 and q is 3 m is 24 so we have 24 is equal to 2a since p is 2 and q is 3 3 squared is 9 so plus 9b so we call that one equation 1 so having gotten equation 1 we go for equation 2 p is 3 and q is 2 when m is 17 m is 17 so we have 17 equal to 3a then b is q is 2 2 squared is 4 so plus 4b call that one equation 2 now um here if we want to go by elimination method to eliminate a we multiply equation 1 by 3 and multiply equation 2 by 2 from here equation 1 become 24 times 3 gives 72 2a times 3 gives 6a and 9b times 3 gives 27b call this equation 3 17 times 2 give 34 3a times 2 give 6a and 4b times 2 gives uh, 8b call this one equation 4 then here it is equation 3 minus equation 4 72 minus 34 gives 38 6a minus 6a gives 0 27b minus 8b gives uh, 19b so dividing both sides by 19 b equal to 2 so substituting b equal to 2 from equation 1 you can keep this 2a here take this to this side it becomes 24 minus 18 24 minus 18 gives a uh, 6 so that we now have a is equal to 3 after dividing 6 by 2 so a is equal to 3 we now create our formula from this by substituting a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2 so we have m equal to 3p plus 2q squared that's the formula now when p is equal to 4 and q is equal to 5 so our m will be equal to 3 into 4 plus 2 into 5 squared now simplifying 3 times 4 gives 12 5 squared is 25 times 2 gives 50 so we have 12 plus 50 which gives m as equal to 62 that is the end of solution to problem three we go to problem four for problem four the cost c in dollars of making a call is partly constant and partly varies with the number of seconds n spends on the call a call of one minute five seconds attracts eighteen dollars while a call of two minutes attracts $29. Calculate the cost of making a call of 3 minutes 10 seconds. Okay, this is a partial variation with C as the cost and uh, N is the number of seconds. So let's see that C equal to A plus B N. This is the normal partial variation so that a call of one minute five seconds attracts eighteen dollars so when c is eighteen um n since we are dealing with seconds this is sixty seconds plus five making sixty five seconds so n is sixty five seconds so we have it as 65b call this one equation one that's settled 
a call of two minutes attracts twenty nine dollars so when c is twenty nine a plus one hundred and twenty b two minutes is one hundred and twenty seconds so this is equation two so having gotten equations one and two we subtract so in our subtraction this is 29 minus 18 which gives 11 a minus a gives 0 120b minus 65b gives 55b so dividing both sides by 55 b is 0 0.2 that will give us 1 over 5 1 over 5 is 0 0.2 so we substitute b in equation 1 so from equation 1 18 is equal to a plus 13 so 65 multiplied by 0 0.2 gives 13 a is equal to 5 so we go ahead to create our formula by substituting a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 0 0.2 in this relation so we have our c equal to 5 plus 0 0.2 n now we have to calculate the cost of making a call of 3 minutes 10 seconds that's 190 when n is 190 then c will be 5 plus 0 0.2 times 190 that will give us 43 so having gotten 43 so the cost of making a call of 3 minutes 10 seconds is 43 dollars so we should be careful we should always give our answer to two decimal places if we are dealing with currency so that is the end of solution to problem four and this is the end of this tutorial please subscribe to our youtube channel uninab resources like and share this video also remember to check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the links to other videos on variation until i come your way again goodbye